Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a blackened peacock spider. Super simple. Many people often think of it as a beginner's fly uh, from a fly tying point of view, but they're deadly. Um, they work great on lakes, lochs and rivers alike. And it's a fly that I mean, really everybody should have in their box. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for everybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the monthly fly tying classes, and enter the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the like button if the videos are useful to you, or even watch them just to the end, um, that all helps the channel. So I've got my hook in my vise, and this is a Kamazan B170, size 12. I'm just running on some Uni 8 on black. Now, if you use a modern thread for these, it's better than using silk because it's they're, they're just more durable and stronger. And I've left my tail end quite long, and it's already waxed. Um, and I'm going to use this to reinforce the fly. And I'm not going to use a rib. Um, because that disrupts the peacock hair a wee bit and I'm also not going to use glue um, somebody was, I was talking to somebody and they were saying they always have problems if they use, use glue or varnish they're probably a bit heavy handed and it ruins the it ruins the body but um, I'm going to show you a method here which will give you quite a durable fly a nice dense peacock body and uh, it will not be disrupted by a rib or anything like that although a rib can be quite effective and this little green lurex rib or something can be very good so I've got two strands of peacock tied in I've just got to sort of stroke them to lift the flu 90 degrees from the, the quill and then I'm lying them along that wax thread I'm just going to twist them together into a rope and you'll start to get like a it'll look like chenille basically I'm going to start wrapping it and you can brush it back each turn as you wind much as you would like a, a, an Estaz or a Fritz Chenille, Cactus Chenille, something like that, or even a Hackle, just so you're not trapping any fibres. If you feel that you're using up your twisted section, just put some more twists in, and this Basically, this is actually, I think, stronger than using the thread to rib the fly. Um, because rather than it just crossing over, like it's around the hero several times, you know, every, every wrap has got several tons of thread wrapped around it rather than just one crossing over and just come forward sweeping it back as you go and building that wee dense peacock body and that's what you're after if you want it to be a bit fatter, you can, by all means, put a bit of taper in the body before with the thread, but you really don't need to. So I've, fold, I've tied that off and I've folded it back, just put a couple of wraps of thread over, I'll just trim away the waist. Right, and that's, you can see, I mean, look, it's, it's a lovely body. 
just that, it, it looks just like a wound peacock herald, but it's reinforced all the way along. Hackle, I'm using a natural black hen, but you can use um, dyed black if you want. I just like the look of the natural black, the fish probably don't care. I'm going to tie it in by the tip, and even if I'm tying this for a still water, I go with river, I spy their proportions, so I'm looking for like the long hackle barbs, which are like the length of the hook, right? I don't want it like gap width, gap and a half, I want it longer than that. So catch this in by the tip, two or three turns, fold it back, and then three turns will take me to the front. And then I can just come in, keep my thread tight, if I could grab this, there we go, snap that away. And then, fold the hackle and wind it. Now, I can't tell you how many turns you need, it depends on the quality of the feather, right? Counting hackle turns is a mugs game. Um, although you hear a lot of folk going on about it. Some hackles are denser, some are sparser, depends on the cape. But on this, I'm going to hackle it more heavily than I, you normally would like a river wet. So I'm just winding it and looking. No, I mean, I don't know, it must be three or four turns I've got on already. But again, don't don't count. I'm looking I want this to be a wee meaty kind of chunky fly. When I get enough I'm going to fold the feather across the thread, tie it off. Two or three turns is enough is hold it. Then I'm just these wee Indian and Chinese hen hackles have got very fine stems so you can always fold them back to make them more secure tie back over them break it away it always gives you a nice clean tie off and cut no waste pieces sticking up and it's just a case of putting a couple of turns on to tidy up get the right head shape there you go And then, before I finish it, I like to sort of stroke the fibres forward and push them back. That knocks any of the twist out of them from wrapping. And then it's just a case of whip finishing and a bit of varnish. And again, use the whip finish if you need to, to finalise your head shape. Spot the hook and tighten it up. Trim away the waste. You only need one coat of varnish, but if you want to, you can put a couple on to. If you like the shiny head, you can put a couple on. But that single coat is plenty. Clean the eye, and you're good to go. And that there is a better black and peacock spider. It's much tougher than the sort of traditional just winding it and ribbing it with thread anyway. It works very, very well and it should be in everybody's box for still waters and rivers, as I said. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Take lines, guys. Bye.